last day. It's worth waking up for, huh? Mm-hmm. I figured I could do it one last day. Good. Because that's all that's left. Thank goodness. Making us some juice. Check on the line. Clean up and try again. Nasty cup marked pills. 8 p.m. <laughs> Since all this started, I promised Alicia that after today that we'd throw it away. Or I'd have it bronzed and hung on the wall. It's all dusty inside now. You keep making me take stuff out of it. I'm done with the pill cup. You gotta get tough. So taking things out of a nasty cup is tough? Yep. Mm -hmm. Toughens up your immune system. Sewing. You wanna say good morning? Is it a pretty day, Tate? Mm hmm. Actually, yeah. yeah. Yeah? It's sunny. It's a little cold. We're on our way to school, but it should be a beautiful afternoon. And today's the very last day of radiation. I'm so happy. I'm just sitting here reading everybody's messages. Everybody's cheering on my last day. I'm so excited. I'm so ready to be done. Now that it's your last day, what have you learned from this experience? It's really hard. Yeah. Hardest thing you've ever done, huh? I'd say physically and mentally, too. Well, on top of the fact that they took a chunk of your brain out. Yeah. I'd say that didn't help. I know, I just... It makes you realize you can't do it by yourself. No, you can't. No. And you see all the bad things about yourself, too. Yeah. Because you're under so much stress. But you've handled it well. Sometimes. Not all the time. The good news is, the hardest part of this journey is fixing to be behind you. I'm glad. Have a major brain surgery, and then turning around and three weeks later starting radiation and chemo is not easy. Mm -mm. And doing that for 42 days, that's hard. Mm -hmm. I know we still got a long year ahead, but yeah. You did great, babe. Thank you. In terms of whether we wanted to look at this dog. He thinks he's a person. He's in my bed. I'm the only one that gets to lay around like a lazy person. Have you been having radiation for the last six weeks? Awesome. No. You just pretend that you're my... Excuse me. Sir? What are you doing in the bed? Okay, do you know what time it is? Chemo time. For the last time. For the time. last time. I mean, not for the last time, but, but for the last, last time. time. Like, okay, well, take my nasty cup and put chemo in it. Would so. you like for me to throw this cup away? We have a little ceremony? Yeah, we do need to have a ceremony to throw that cup away. Okay. Because it's nasty. Here you go. You want to hold this camera? I'll hold this camera. This will be, the, this will be the best chemo pour of all time. Okay. 
Take care of it, man. Oh. I'm ready okay. to be done. Are you watching? You want to come see? Alright. Alright, let me double check our Ace Pharmacist work. Okay. Supposed to be three pills. Are there three pills in there? There's three. Let's see if there's one. And there's one. That means they counted right. Means Todd and Emily and all the girls in the pharmacy can do math. Unlike me. Thank goodness. Okay. All right. You got some water? Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. You know what it tastes like today? What did it taste like today? The finish line. Like sweat. Yeah. And achy muscles. Yeah. Like when you finish a marathon, I'm sure. Yeah. That's what it tastes like today. I believe it. Dun, 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 dun. In the garbage. Don't the garbage. The garbage is nasty. I'll censor it. Just for you. Well, there's like... Alright, what are we doing? We're about to leave to go to the doctor and then have my last radiation treatment. And I think Tate's on his way too. So I'm yeah. excited because he gets to ring the bell with me today. It's going to be awesome. Yes. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Glad that this part is over. Me too. I know God is good. He's taking care of you. Mm hmm. I love you. I love you. Get your coffee. Got to for good luck. Brennan sent me a, a coffee. Brennan sent you a coffee yeah, today? Brennan sent me coffee for today. Oh, that was sweet. Yeah. Aren't you mushy, Brennan? So, when I dropped Tate off at school this morning, Miss Norma asked me if they could do the trikathon for St. Jude in my honor. And I just got really embarrassed. Why? Because I just don't feel like I deserve it. But it's, it's in your honor, and they're going to make the donation in your honor. Well, they um, have raised over $21,000 for St. Jude that's awesome. in the years that they've done the trikathon. Well, like part four of it's years. probably because they know that that's our favorite organization. So. Yeah. I just I mean, I know the money's not for me. I just feel like people have... I'm no better than anybody else, is what I'm saying. I know, but let me... What the amazing thing about it is... A, they're doing it out of the kindness of their hearts and because they know how important that organization is to us. Yeah. They know what it means to us personally. Mm-hmm. But also, it's it's a unique way that we can see God's love lived out in the individuals around us. Mm -hmm. And the, the really amazing thing is that they're just as encouraged by your attitude you know how you handled this whole situation and also you know someday when you're feeling better and we're not you know going to radiation every day doing chemo you'll have the same amazing opportunity to do the same for somebody else yeah God is going to put people in your path and in your life that you will get to touch the same way and he's giving you a much greater opportunity because of it. He's allowing you to take all the miserable times through this and turn it into a positive thing. It's kind of like Job. You know, we talked about Job. Mm -hmm. Same sort of, sort of thing. Just because bad things happen doesn't mean that God can't use it. Yeah. Not just in you, but people around you. Yeah. I just think a lot of people have seen my positive and not everybody has seen that I'm not perfect and I'm not perfect and no, I don't deserve that you're anything that has been given to me. It's, I really don't. It, it's just God's grace. That's the whole point. So we, we don't deserve anything in this life. No. I mean, do you remember at the beginning of this how hard I was struggling with the idea about why would God allow this to happen? I don't understand. It's not fair. Well, yeah, and you've blamed yourself a lot for not seeing the signs earlier. 
but it's not your fault. And we just kind of have to open up and have faith that, you know, we're moving on past this. That there's bigger things out there that God's keeping you around for a reason. Yeah, I do believe that. Hey, Tater. Where are you? Do you want to go see the robots? Mm -hmm. Mr. KJ's going to show you the big robot back there. Uh, where? We're going to go back and look at it. You want to go back and look at it? Look, there's Mommy. Hey, you. Hello. Did you have a good day at school? Look. Yeah. He's going to go back with you and see the... Oh, come on, let's go see it. Look, KJ's waiting. Okay, KJ's waiting for me. Yeah, you're fine. Don't worry about it. They're all out here. You can go see it. Last one. You want to help me scan my badge? Oh, here you go. Come here. Go see it. Look, it's just a laser. Yeah, see? Look, I scan my badge and it beeps at me. You ready to walk back here? See what I do every day? He's like, what's back here? Big old door. Look. Mr. KJ is going to show the giant robot back here. Do you want to see it? I know how much you love robots and lasers. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. You see it? Look, Look, you can walk up to it. Look. You see the table? You want me to hold your hand or pick it up? <laughs> I'll hold you. Look. Look. Look at the arms. Whoa. Do you remember the, the arms from the video? Look. Look, Mr. KJ. Look, he's got a remote control. Is that pretty cool? <laughs> a big robot, huh? Arms move out. Look, this cage is making all parts move. Oh. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Look, this is the bed that mommy lays on, and it moves too. Everything in here moves. Can you believe it? Oh, look. Look, you see, look, it's got the, look at the lasers on the wall. Can you see that? Look. Look at that. <laughs> wow, huh? That's pretty cool. Isn't that cool? Okay, you ready to say bye to mommy? Do you want me to walk you back out? Okay. Okay, and I'll, I'll play with the robot. You play with everybody else. Oh, I know. <laughs> Thanks, KJ. I'm going to play with the big robot. See that bell? That's what we're going to ring in the Go play yeah. I'm all done. That's it. Yay! Yeah, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna bronze it. Yeah, we can hang it on the wall. What am I gonna do with this silly thing, huh? You gonna come help me ring the bell? Tate wanna wear it? Tate's like, what is that? No. Hey, you wanna set it down? Alright, Tater, are you gonna go ring the bell? This is it. Mommy's done. Yay! Tate's like, I want. You gonna ring it? You wanna do it or you want me to? <laughs> All done. I oh, know. Good job. Thanks for helping me. All right. Don't ever have to do that again. I oh, know. I love you. I love you. <laughs> you counted correctly. <laughs> That's it. There Promises were three of the little girls. You're done. I'm done. I'm so excited. I'm done. I love you. I love you. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You make me cry. I had a hard time laying there today. You did? Why? Just know. I knew that so many people were praying for me. Oh, no. No more tumors. No more tumors. It's a beautiful day. We're not doing this again. Off and enjoy. No. Just so happy. I love you. I love you. I'm happy too. It's a lot to take in. It's been a long 42 days. I'm glad it's done. I am too, baby. But God got you here. I love you. I love you.
Oh, there's like a speaker in there. <laughs> 42 days of chemo and radiation, I'd say you deserve to be. You need to dance with me, Tay? Th this is funny. Mommy says I can't dance, but Mommy's only got one dance. <laughs> Show me your dance moves. No, here. This is the only dance move Mommy's got. That's it. I'm gonna do you like mommy. I already showed you my other moves. The lawnmower and the water sprinkler. That's the good And the tickle tape. Okay. Okay, Tate. Want to mark it off? This is it. Wow. Last day of radiation! Woohoo! Woo! You're feeling better right I'm now. feeling better right now. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. cute. I sure am. Taylor, are you ready for mommy to feel better? Thank you, Miss Martha. It was a great 42 days, Miss Martha. Yes. It's very fun to open these each day. See me? No, I can't see you yet. Okay, hold it carefully. What were you gonna ask me? Are you ha uh, are you um, um in your cake? I'm eating my cake. It's very good. I'm enjoying it. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Celebration cake. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. I love you too. I'll close it. Okay. Chocolate. What's wrong? What are you still upset about? Hey. I'm just so glad. I'm so glad it's over. I'm glad it's over too. I know I'm not near as glad as you are. Tomorrow. No. I don't have to take chemo tomorrow. No. Nope. I don't have to get bolted to the table. No. Nope. I love you. I love you. You made it, babe. It's over. Over. I thought I thought you meant how I met your mother, but yeah, that's over there. <laughs> yeah. Well. It's over. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sleep a lot tomorrow. I'd say that's a fair fair deal. Okay. Good night. Good night. Thanks for cheering us on this whole time. These past six or eight weeks. Well, it's been 11 weeks since I had my seizure. And I had brain surgery 10 days after that. And then it's been six weeks since the start of radiation. So, not exactly how we've planned this year to go, but I'm glad that that part of it's over. by the end of this year. So it'll be really sweet to ring in 2015. It sure will. Good night. I love you.
What are we doing? Marking off a day. No. Yeah. Wait, hang on. <laughs> We're a, marking off a special a, day. This is a special day. It's the second to last day of. Let me just check because we've, we've had chemo. some math problems. We started on the 17th. Today is the 30th of March. And we marked off all 